Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to have the fifth tasting of my Azaka smash beer. Now, <clears throat> this was one of the first ones I brewed. Uh, it's 6.71% ABV. This was bottled on 427. So uh, almost eight months old as this is uh, um, the beginning of 2020. Uh, this one did use 2 pounds, 12 ounces of Great Western Turo. Uh, Azaka was 11.7 alpha acids, 0.39 ounces at 30 minutes, 0.29 ounces at 5 minutes, then 0.32 ounces 3 days into fermentation. Uh... This was an hour boil. I was just looking. Uh, this was using the two gallon plastic Mr. Beer. Now this one has changed and uh, recently just how far I've come. Um, what I was having an issue on was my ABV was going up way high. This one doesn't show it, but um, there were some that I was using uh, like two pounds, four ounces, and I was getting 7% beer. So I did bring that back down, uh, but in this one, almost 7% for, let's say, almost three pounds of grain, I think that's fine. So let's go ahead and open this, get it into a glass, see how it's doing. Now, because this is eight months old, are we expecting a lot? No, my guess is uh, the malt is going to take over in this. I don't go back and watch any of the other ones, so there have been four other tastings. Now, I do believe on the last tasting of this, it actually started foaming over. It There is a lot of bubbles coming up, um, but it hasn't started foaming over yet. Also, I got these uh, new glasses for Christmas. It, they're kind of cool. Uh, they do have a hop, then some of, they all have like a hop name. So this one's Warrior. I do have a Warrior beer, but it's not ready yet. Also, it's etched in the bottom of the glass. I think Samuel Adams does that too. So we'll see if we can see any uh, bubbles coming up. Uh, what I should probably do is do a side-by-side -side just to see uh, if those bubbles actually help. Uh, supposedly, the wider uh, glass will give us a better uh, smell of this beer, but I don't know because this is the first time using it. Uh, obviously, it doesn't fill up the glass all the way. I think they are 16 ounce. This is a 12-ounce bottle. Um, Off-white head. Uh, it does look kind of orangish. Uh, it's coming up from the bottom um, in there about a finger of head. So after eight months, we're finally getting ahead on some of these beers. Let's go ahead and look at the color. Golden orange in color, lots of bubbles. I can actually say that hop etched in the bottom of that glass is really sending a lot of bubbles up through the center of it, which is kind of cool. But yeah, um, the 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 middle part is a little oranger than the bottom of it uh the this bottom part right here looks more yellow but this big section is like a, a orange golden color where the bottom is like a yellow gold or yeah yellow gold let's go ahead and smell Man, it's so weird to smell a beer in a glass like this since I've been using those pint glasses so much Big time sweet malt, maybe a little caramel in there. I'm really not getting hops. Yeah, like a sweet caramel malt, almost honey smell is what I get. The hops are gone. Um, I Like I said, uh, I think a beer this old, an IPA this old, um, you want to drink them as soon as you can. Letting them age eight months, nine months. Uh, probably isn't the best for a beer like this. Let's go ahead and taste. It is smooth. You get that sweet caramel malt up front, but there's lots of bitterness. Um, I want to say like a touch of citrus, but big, big bitterness. Uh, 
I do remember like a ripe peach coming out of Azaka when we had some earlier tastings of this. I'm not getting any of that, even in the aftertaste. It's like a sweet caramel malt uh, with big bitterness, and that is it. Is it bad? No, but there's no malt or hot backbone at all in this beer. There could be a touch of citrus, a little bit more citrus than I can think of, that, that, that I said, uh, just because that hot bitterness is big uh, in there. Uh, it does seem like in the middle of the palate, there is some citrus that goes through there. But yeah, not bad, but is, or not good, not bad. The bubbles are still coming up from that edge top in there. Uh, I, I think it's as to be expected. If anybody uh, bottles beer uh, and puts them like back in a closet or like I have it under here is where I keep a lot of my beer um, in the cabinets. Uh, if one gets pushed towards the back and you forget about it and you pop it six, eight months later, um, I feel in an IPA this is what you would get. Even older uh, craft beers um, that have been sitting on the shelf, uh, you know, everybody's prone to it. Just, oh, that looks good, picking it up and you get home. Oh, well, this was best by, you know, the beginning of the year and here we are in a new year. Um, but yeah, the, the hops have faded, a big bitterness, that caramel malt sweetness is taken over. So I, I, I would say definitely do not let a beer like this sit for eight months. Um, I don't know how many I have left, but I'll probably put this as the final tasting just because there's nothing more we can learn from this as now those hops are gone. If anything, if you wanted to say maybe the beta acids have kicked in and that's why we're getting so much bitterness in there when I don't believe that bitterness was that big um, when it was fresh. Um, you Most of the time, I believe nowadays, you don't see a beta acid on there, just the alpha acid. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe uh, Azaka hops have a higher beta acid than a lot of other hops. So that's why we're getting that big bitterness. But yeah, overall, okay beer. We still got a head on there. It's drinkable. Would I brew it and let it age this long? No. I think four months probably on this one was probably the best, even though I don't remember what it was like four months ago. But yeah, overall, uh, good beer, but nothing I would brew and let age. So if you like this review, check some of these other ones out. And until next time, happy brewing.